Whoa. Two worlds complete, 100% and we're on 30% overall. Hey guys, it's iPod Luigi 505 back again for another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Now, in the last episode, we finished Hotland and unlocked Treatland. And in this episode, we're going to be starting with the first level, Toy Tracks. I hate this level. With a vengeance. Now. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't hate it early on or anything. I do just hate the level. So here you'll notice we can pull the wheels on these cars by grabbing hold of them to move them and allow us to get up here. And of course we're going to kill Waddlebees as ever. Oh, when were we ever nice to Waddle... Oh yeah, episode one is when we were nice to Waddlebees. We just want to kill this model do. You know, I never... Okay, yes, I understand why they're different names. I just didn't like the fact they had different names. I don't know why I did that. Um, here you'll notice these guys are throwing a box. If you get on top, you can ride it and basically be lazy. <laughs> yeah, um, this is another really catchy tune. Like, pretty much the entire game soundtrack. Kirby's Epic Yarn, it just has a brilliant soundtrack, if you ask me. Ha. Ah. You're mean, what it is. You made me cry. Nah. So, we've missed there, so we're just going to wait here. Get thrown. Get thrown again. And pull that. And we got the stuffed bear. This guard bear lost his post when he was caught napping on the job. Thank God this is in World War Two because he probably would have been oh, no World War One because he probably would have been killed for abandoning his post or something. I don't know. I, just, I know that much about um, World War One thanks to a book, Private Peaceful. We didn't read, but it's quite sad actually. Good book though. Not good as in what happens or anything, but good book is good read. Intriguing. And we're just gonna steal this guy's spear and throw it back at him. To kill him. I'm going to kill you. And we're gonna jump on top of these legs that are moving. And we can get some extra beads. Okay, I didn't really want the beads though, but yes, yeah, still. Killed him. Um, what we want to do is head down here. We really want to come out at the right time and get crushed. Yeah, because we really want to get killed on our quest for 100% and we've lost that. Great! That's probably screwed me over for 100% then. Ah! Crap! That was kind of scary. Um, yeah, these guys you can... Basically... I think you can pick their cannonballs up. I actually can't remember. Hmm. Oh, I get it now, I think. Yeah, you can go through here. Yeah, so we lucked out there and lost a ton of beads that we really need. And we got another one of these exclamation marks that's going to make something able to be ripped. And I believe it's actually one of the hats on these soldiers, being this one. <laughs> Okay, so let's just pull that, and we get the tin robot. This tin robot is very expen is a very expensive vintage item sought by collectors. I bet it is. Ooh, <laughs> no, I uh, shouldn't be making those empty jokes, which aren't actually jokes, more of an annoyance. This is what happens when you hang out 
with my friends. Nothing against my friends, but this is what happens when you hang out with them. Uh, oh, there's something down there. I wonder if we can get to it. If I could get back. Um, oh, nice, we can. You can actually pass through there. It's that's actually a well hidden secret. I'll admit, I don't remember finding it on my original playthrough. Oh, it's just. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, come on! Oh, right, we can get out there. Ah. <sighs> Trust Nintendo to come up with areas on a platform of uh, trick you into thinking you can't go back. And here we've got a duck who we're just gonna. Oh, come on! Physics should have taken effect. What about your gravitational potential energy and your momentum? Now he's got momentum. Yeah, go ducks! Ducks for president. What? Only br oh, this is a long. This is gonna take ages. I'm gonna have to start killing each enemies with each other. And you can see there's nowhere to go. So if we jump down here, ah, oh, we fell to our deaths at the hands of a robot, Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, because I, yeah, because Sonic enemies have something to do with our demise, apparently. Oh, come on. Ah. The way these robots walk make me think of crabs. That's what I'm now going to call them. Giant enemy crab. Attack its weak spot for maximum damage. Whoa! That was close. Biggest fail ever. I can imagine what it had been like if um, I had failed, actually. Very annoying is what. Um... So, what we're just going to do <laughs> He got trod on! Uh, yeah, that can happen. And that's why I'm scared of being underneath these robots. Robot Nick. 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 I swear I can hear more Waddle Dee. The Waddle Dee's getting crushed underneath us. Take me to your leaders. Okay. We need to work our way up the machine. There's our cog in the machine! Oh god. I'm kind of making a subtle reference actually there to a... Feet, a um... World and World of Goo. A you know, cog in the machine. And... To a lesser extent... Gears of War. Of the cogs. The Coalition of Organised Governments, I think they... Jeez, and I say I like Gears of War as a series. Yeah, I can't. Arr, why am I failing so. Game, would you kindly cooperate with me? Come on, I'm LPing you because I like you, and this is how you repay me by making your platforms very difficult for me. I mean, come on, I've wasted 8 of my 18 minutes. Ah! I forgot at this point, that enemy can call on help. You! I evil something. Thanks to you, I just lost even more beads. Thank you, game. Thank you. Anyway, as you saw, that bear's crying more because of his throat. And we stitched it back together, so our reward is we steal his candy. Stealing candy from a baby. That's how easy it, that bit was. Wait, was there any secrets there? No. Wait. No. Hmm. No. I was sure there would have been a secret there, but uh, apparently not, so I'm just gonna not ask questions and leave. Um, and here's the introduction of another one of my least favorite power-ups in the game. The train. Okay, so we have to draw paths in this by pressing A in front of Kirby. As you can see, I fail miserably at doing so. And, yeah, I hate this. 
ability. I hate its face. I hate its ugly face. I wish it would die. Yeah, you can turn around mid journey. Um, yeah, I really hate the train. Such a complicated ability and so easy to screw up if you go wrong. Look at this. The hell? And it doesn't help when you've got a... Oh, come on! Oh, this is going to be a long episode. What? What is wrong with you, Kirby? You're a suckier train than Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, we've managed to... Oh, come on! Get back around there and collect that treasure. Oh. I wish tank form would just die! Already. We kind of need that treasure, so could you kindly hurry up? Thanks. The theme from Toy Tracks. This new music plays in Toy Tracks. So yeah, we have all the treasure for Toy Tracks now. And here's something else we can do. We can pick up extra carts. I don't actually remember what importance this has. I think it's something important. So, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, well, I've been saying okay a lot in the last couple of days. Come on! Ugh, this is why I hate toy tracks so much. Oh, I think I remember. The more um, carriages you have with you when you finish the section or something, the, the more points or something. I mean, you're going to get beads or something out of it. Yeah, you get, you get um, I think it's a hundred beads, whatever those star ones are, for each one you get to the end. So, let's just ring the bell. Yes. No, 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 no! Damn you! You would go into the three star! You would! Because you don't want me to get a five star, do you? You wanted me to waste 12 minutes on this one level where I could be have done two by now. And you made me use the worst power up in the game next to the, di the mole. And then you give me three stars on the f***ing wheel. Oh well, at least we got gold and all the treasures. Not coming back to this godforsaken level. I really thought we would be though. Based on how I was doing. And because of how long that's taken, I don't think we're gonna have any time now for other levels. Thanks, Toy Tracks. Uh, anyway, the next level we have to do will be the Mushroom Run. Yeah, you can already guess what that's gonna revolve around. Anyway, seeing as we don't have enough time to do another level, I think I'm just going to head back to Quilty Square and fill in the next apartment that we had to do, then go buy some stuff and watch me die. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate toy tracks so much. I don't know, that's going to be like a recurring theme in this. Every time I have to use a train, it's going to be like... I hate you, train. I want you to die. I hate your face and stuff. Because I already hate it. Uh, so we're just going to go into here. We have the stuffed bear. Oh, wait. We can't fill in the other one. Because we don't get that treasure until the third level. Arrgh! Oh, well. No use crying about it. <sighs> so... While I'm just boring myself silly for the rest of the episode, how are you guys doing? And what are you doing, in fact? Because I'm curious about what people are doing in the world and stuff. Um, no, we're not going to leave. We're going to buy this. We're going to. We're going to get this guy to sell out! <laughs> 
I don't know, it had to be said, uh, I guess. Uh, leave the shop, go straight back to the shop, and now just buy a load more stuff. Begs the question though, how much fabric is he gonna have that we have to buy in this game? <sighs> go back to the so sop shop. I'm just gonna try and waste all these beads, so... I think, actually, guys, I'll cut the video here and end off this episode and then just buy a ton more fabrics off screen. So, yeah. In the next episode, guys, of Kirby's Epic Yarn, we'll be returning to Treatland to take on the Mushroom Run and hopefully another level. See you guys then.